Hey guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here, and we are back in the Lego room with another building block video. And I'm very excited about this one because we're now getting started on this area. If you remember from our tour a while back, we talked about how this was this end was going to be kind of our residential or suburb area. So what we're going to be making today is actually a set I've had for a long time. And I weirdly want to say that this is kind of my first modular. Now, I talked about how the bookshop that Large Smiles had got me was my first modular, which is true. But this is the first one where, like, the roof kind of came off and you could see inside. And what it is, it's a Creator 3-in-1 house. Um, so, yeah, it's... The whole roof comes off in two different parts. You can see inside. The weird part with this is this is from, I want to say like early 2000 teens, even 2010, 11, around that point. Um, it didn't have anything inside. It was just exterior. There was nothing inside. And I, I think a lot of the time they did that because they were really hoping that uh, it would be a, uh, you know, it use your imagination to fill up the house and, and put stuff in, which I did, so... So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, build it as it is in the book and show that to you. And then I'll show you what I'm able to do with it afterwards. So let's get to the build. So that's the build of the house. Now on this one, this is really, honestly, when I was building, I was thinking about it. This is technically my first modular. Um, but before any of the, the, the modulars are in the city, I got this probably 2010, 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. And I've had it for a really long time. And I remember when I got this and I thought it was interesting how it came apart. Little did I know that that's the idea behind the modular. So we'll kind of take a look outside and then we'll get a little bit more into that. So you can see we've got a little pond with a duck that Heather's a big fan of because she went, ooh, duck. Uh, we've got a uh, bird bath out here. We've got plants across the front and over by the door. Nice big yellow door. Big windows. I really like these windows. You can see these open up and they open up just perfectly fitted in those grooves. Um, we've got kind of like uh, some glass up here with a light above the door. It's very cool. We come over to the side here. We actually have a working sliding glass door. Uh, you can see on these, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, when opening those up, uh, a pretty cool picnic table, an outside area like here. The back is, eh, it's the back, you know. Um, I love the... Uh, the fireplace here with all the stonework and everything. I think that's pretty cool. Now, the one drawback to this is, is they, uh, they didn't do anything inside. Kind of. They kind of, oh, let me show you. So the way these come off is they do come off modular, except they come off in two different pieces, which is kind of cool. So we'll look at this real quick. You can kind of see there's nothing in here. Nothing on either side, but it does have the opening for the stairs. So I think the idea here is you're supposed to kind of make your own inside, kind of like a dollhouse. So we're going to make some uh, bedroom stuff up there. 
and you can see in here, I mean, there's lights inside, and you've got a fully formed staircase, but there's nothing. So I think what I want to do, the main thing I want to do is I want to tile this off inside. I want to uh, put some furniture in. Maybe we'll do like a living room, maybe a kitchen here. Um, it is kind of weird where the fireplace is. It's right by the front door and under the stairs. I don't think that's up to code, but... But yeah, so we'll put a living room and a kitchen and stuff in there. And then, like I said, we'll probably just make this like a like a one-bedroom. It's a pretty big one-bedroom house. But um, but it is our first house going into the city. And I'm very excited because you guys know that I, I really am jazzed to do the residential side. So, so let me uh, do some work. I want to do some outside work. And I want to do some inside work. And then we'll take a look and see what uh, what I was able to come up with. All right, so I've already done some changes. Uh, first and foremost, if you notice, I've moved the lake from here onto another base plate. Now this base plate is actually gonna go here and it's gonna be part of a future plans I have. I just wanted to show you where the lake went. I am still probably gonna make a tree and as you guys know, I have a whole lot of trees I need to make for the campground and for around the city. And right here is gonna be another one just got to find time for it. So, but let's look what we did. So uh, I put a sidewalk across the front here and you can see basically I made this wall fence combo using some masonry bricks and some fence pieces. And uh, this is going to continue on onto that other base plate when I do that. But that, like I said, it's going to be a little bit different. Other than that, everything on the outside, I pretty much kept the same. I did move this back. There was a little adjustment on the walkway just to kind of have it line up with where the fence was. But other than that, everything I kept pretty much the same. Now, what we'll do first is we'll, we'll take off these uh, roof bits. No peeking. No peeking. I won't show you this yet. Uh, we'll take off these roof bits and we will look inside. So, um, I did a little family thing here. We've got a family. We, I made a, a kitchen area with a fridge. A stove. I really liked that. I had seen somebody do this before where they used um, like VCR, VHS tape pieces to make uh, burners. So I thought that was kind of cool. We got a dishwasher and an oven and uh, dad and son are making some food. It looks like grandpa's heading upstairs. And then if we go this way, you guys can see the living room we put in. We've got mom and grandma and there's just a baby on the floor because, like, you know, it's been a long time since I had a baby, but I'm pretty sure you would just stick them on the floor like that. And they're having some tea while they're hanging out. And, uh, yeah, uh, you can see I kind of put in a hardwood floor here and then kind of like a like a tan rug type thing in the living room. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, it made sense for the back door. The fireplace is weird. There's nothing I can do about that. The fireplace is in a weird area, but like I said, I think it works. It it's a it's a really big house to have a really small living room and then that concept kind of carries over to upstairs so first we have this half and you can see we put in a wall and this is half there's it's a one bedroom house one bedroom zero bathroom house so it's it's very it's only three million dollars it's a, a bargain in the town so um, we put in, I put in a small little wardrobe here, a dresser. I've got like a to-do list on top of there. And then on the other side, you can see now, you see we added this wall because we added this wall and actually added a door. So this, when, when closed up, you can't see it, but it makes one solid wall across the top. And then we made ourselves a bed. We got a couple of nightstands with a, you know, you got to have a cup of water right there. And with a lamp and, uh... Yeah, and like I said, when we, oh, I broke the lap. Um, and then when we put them together, everything kind of matches up and makes it inside. But like I said, it is kind of funny that it's, you know, a, a, the whole family sleeps on the couch. Grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, uh, Billy, and the baby. They're all going to need, like, major uh, therapy after this. But, but, you know, you make ends meet. You make ends meet. So the, 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 the first ever uh, one-bedroom, zero-bathroom, full-size house. So, And you can see everything kind of goes back on there. And if you look in the window, you can kind of see into where the bed... Nope, can't see nothing. It's too dark. Yeah, that makes sense. So... 
So once again, we're going to put this in the city and then, um, yeah, we're never going to look at it again. You're never going to see this. So all the work I put in and the pieces I put in there, remember them because we're not. But you guys stay right there because now we can just take this and we're going to slide it in right past our internet modem, um, which is on the outside of town, obviously. And basically the concept is going to be, this is going to be the house at the, the end of the cul-de-sac. And we're going to have, uh, like I said, a, a future build back here, which is going to kind of be the backyard. And it worked out because the sliding glass door is kind of on the side of the house and it leads right out till there. So that's why I put the pond there. So there we go. We have our very first residential kind of suburban home in town. Uh, ironically, the other houses I have aren't that big. So they're going to be like a half bedroom, pee out the window kind of house. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Gotta be a real estate agent. Uh, a cozy fixer upper. There we go. So yeah, so there's our first house. I'm very excited about that. I do have plans, more plans for this area and for the city in general. So let me know what you guys think about our, our first suburban home. Um, obviously I don't have any kids out riding bikes or I don't have anything like that. I usually decorate with mini figs a little bit later, so we'll get to that. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, don't forget, if you want to help the channel, like, subscribe, um, keep watching the videos. It helps out so much. Uh, if you'd like to go one step further, you can do that by becoming a Patreon. You can get uh, your name on the founder's wall, which I, I need to take a shot of because I had left someone's name out a couple of videos ago because Patreon lied to me. But it's all fixed now. The Scots are back in. You're all set. And uh, you can also get your own minifigure in the city, which we are going to be putting these guys somewhere in the city very soon in an upcoming video. Uh, but that'll probably be a video for the Patreons. So you're not even going to see that one. Also keep in mind, when you're a Patreon at any of the paid tiers, you get one week early access to all the videos. Uh, so, you, you know, if you're really into typing first in the comments, here you go. Well, I mean, unless you're second because of the other Patreon. You get it. Anyways, go check out the Patreon. Um, I do have a uh, Amazon wish list if anybody would like to get anything for the city. I have to say, I don't think I've gotten anything from the wish list since before I went to the hospital. So apparently when I get a new heart, nobody wants me to have Legos. And that's just mean. It's mean and it's hurtful. But I get it. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to add something to the city, there's all kinds of new sets. Um, there's all kinds of new sets on there. I try and add new city sets as they come along. I try and take off sets that are nobody should be getting because they're like four pieces for a thousand dollars or something. I'd take those out. Um, but yeah, go check it out if you could. That'd be great. And then lastly, if uh, you have any Legos at home that you're not using, even if it's just a, a big tub of old Ninjago stuff that has been sitting there since you were 12 or sitting in your mom's, you know, basement or garage, I have a P.O. box down below. Uh, stick uh, a shipping label on there and send it over and I will give you your shout out in the video. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you guys later. Bye.